I know guys, it's been way too long since I posted a YouTube video, but so much has happened in my life the past month, month and a half between traveling, landing a new job. I've been also really consistent on other platforms like TikTok and Instagram, so be sure to give me a follow on those platforms as well. But I will be posting more consistently on YouTube. I have a lot of exciting content that I'm going to be creating between now and like July. All right, so I just have to run out of store really quickly. I found kind of this like healthy recipe for Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. And last night I forgot to get provolone. Also wanna grab this really good like green tea from this brand called Steez or Steeds, I can't remember. So yeah, this is the first day of being in between jobs. So my first day of not working for anyone right now. And I'm just really grateful and just feel so blessed to be able to have this opportunity to take a month off of work like I didn't know when I'd ever be able to do anything like this. So I'll be able to focus on content creation, you know, relax a little bit, um, kind of decompress, got some traveling and yeah, just, uh, just enjoying this beautiful weather on the East coast. That whole segment just felt like an ad to me, but I'm about to actually go work out before I eat. And then after I work out, get some food, I'm going to sit and just talk, probably just do like a coffee chat. So I'll probably run to a cafe really quickly, probably bring it here and just have like a coffee and chat segment of the video, catching you all up on my life. Let me open up these blinds really quickly to get some more light. There we go. So we're back from Switzerland and I'm actually going to work out in probably like a few hours. You know what's been really weird is my new job doesn't start till like July 11th or that's like my new start date. So I have like this like massive gap in between my old job and my new job. And it's funny because it seems like a vacation, but it's really not because I'm doing content creation. So it's actually been really fun to just see what life would be like if I worked as a content creator full time. All right, so it's time for me to make some coffee. I'm really excited about this new coffee machine we got. It's actually not that new. It's just that I haven't really posted any YouTube videos, like any vlogs in like months where I would talk about, you know, recent things I picked up or just life. But anyways, it makes for much better B-roll.
All right, what is up everyone? Back at the crib. Time to just reflect and just talk about what's been going on the past few months. So I recently got back from Switzerland. So Lee and I went to Lusanne, Switzerland. I've been there before because of a Logitech conference. I feel like if I didn't go on that conference, I probably wouldn't go to Switzerland for like a long time, if not ever. But anyways, Switzerland is one of the most beautiful countries I've ever been to. Definitely the most beautiful place I've ever been to. Most beautiful scenery I've ever experienced. Clean and just pure, just incredible place. One thing I really enjoyed about that trip was um, experiencing a different culture and speaking French, speaking a different language. All right, so got back to the States, um, but let's just rewind to the whole purpose of this video. And I made sure I added chapters just in case some of you all wanna fast forward to this part where I talk about leaving my job and being a part of the great resignation. So I quit my job with JP Morgan. I think I quit it like May 3rd. Um, so I got a new job offer. I'll talk about that a little bit later. I quit my job with JP Morgan. The main reason why I left was because I just really didn't like working as a tech worker in investment banking. Um, my team was great. We programmed with React. Our lead engineer um, was very smart. Like he was brilliant. He enjoyed playing around with new technologies. And that's an important like part of your job is that your leadership actually cares about it. Um, playing around with new tools, new libraries, um, and just always learning opposed to just writing legacy code. So the technology I used was actually great. I know a lot of people experiences with banking and banking technology is just pretty trash. Like they're coding and like these legacy projects, it's not fun. They never work on anything new. They never write in new libraries or, or new frameworks, but that wasn't my case. I didn't like the culture. And my team, like I said, I really enjoyed my team. Um, I actually built some great relationships with multiple of my team members, but as a whole, the banking world just isn't for me. I know some people like it, but for me, I enjoy it being easy to meet new people and just building relationships outside of my team, which I didn't do at all. And this is the first time I've ever not built any relationships. Like, I kid you not, I don't have one friend I can't name one person outside of my team or someone that I worked with. Another big reason, or I guess this is actually the main reason, the main reason why, an important reason why <clears throat> I left was because I wanted to be fully remote. And I found myself in office three times a week, which was pretty difficult. Um, I felt like I, was felt like I was stretching myself thin, especially when it was the like winter and fall time where we lose so much daylight, it made it really difficult to create content because you know, I have to hop on the train, I'm there till like 5, 5.30, don't get back to 6, 6.15 if I'm lucky. Also, I've always wanted to work at a major tech company. Like, I feel like before one day I decide to become a full-time creator because I definitely think that is in the cards for me in the future, um, I've wanted to just work at a major tech company and I've also been very interested in pursuing developer relations and advocacy roles and I'm excited to say that I accepted an offer from Twilio and I'll be working as a developer evangelist which falls under the umbrella of developer advocacy or the, the developer network at Twilio. This Twilio offer and honestly came down to like really two things. Um, am I remote? Yes. And I, Twilio already knew it was a great place to work. And I, the culture I knew, I knew the culture at Twilio aligned with what I was looking for. So then when comparing it with JP Morgan, it just came down to like two things. Am I remote? Yes. Am I getting paid more? Yes. I'm getting paid more. 
also it's a developer advocacy role and I'm kind of tired of just being a programmer 100% of the time. So it checked all three of those boxes. So I really thought it was a no brainer. So yeah, that's what's been going on with me. I think that's, that's one of the main reasons why I actually haven't been posting a ton of content. I've been doing some traveling. I did a solo trip from New York to, excuse me, Palm Springs. Um, I stayed in Palm Springs for a day and then I drove to Vegas. So it wasn't necessarily a solo trip, only part of it was to meet um, some of my friends from high school uh, and we just hung out in Vegas and had a good time. So yeah, I've just been like relaxing and not putting too much stress on myself to like push out a ton of content. I wanna make sure I'm pushing out content that I enjoy making. Um, also with this free time, I get a chance to spend more time experimenting with videos and posting more consistently. But I've been on Instagram Reels a ton. I post multiple times a week on Instagram and on TikTok. So I would definitely check out those platforms. Um, they're all Jossie Lynn J as well. I make some pretty fun content on there. I've been growing those platforms because I just I just love making Reels on Instagram and I really enjoy making like fun content, in interesting content, more interesting, less like niche-based content on TikTok, but I definitely still make tech content as well. So that concludes this video. I don't wanna make it too long. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog style type of video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out with the algorithm. Also subscribe for more content like this and comment down below just like what's going on. Like I just wanna know what's going on in you all's life. I love interacting with you on a comment section. Also, the more engagement I get in my videos, um, it makes it easier for me to figure out like what type of videos you all want me to make. So with all that being said, I'll see you all soon. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. Peace.